guys, remember when I taught you how to optimize your PC VR performance with the tips and tricks I gave you in the video somewhere here? Well, we're going to double down on that and I'm going to show you how to increase the graphics and visual fidelity on your MetaQuest headset standalone with this new amazing tool. Let's go. Whoa. This is PC VR, bro. This is a quest. This is... Oh my gosh, look at this. It's as if I'm here. Oh, there's a boat. This looks sharp. Providing a stunning backdrop for adventure. This looks better than PC VR, bro. Yeah, if you can, if if you just look around, you can see some jack edges and aliasing go along edges and stuff. You know, I'm just gonna max it out. I don't know what's gonna happen. It might crash. I don't know, guys, but I'm all for it. We're going, we're going to see. And 120 hertz. Oof. Frame rate drop. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, this, bro, this is way sharper than before, for sure. But at the cost of frame rate. So I had to reduce the refresh rate or just make it a bit more. What are you looking at? Make it a bit more, make the resolution a bit more catered to, to my headset, basically. So in order to install this application, we are going to do the following. We will first install the application. So we go to the browser, then we'll type in Quest Game Optimizer. There it is. And then we already have the first option. Now I already made an account, so I will recommend you to create an account. And the tool is not free. It is 12 USD, but it's worth it. Trust me, buy it and support the creator. Buy that, make an account, log into your account, and then in your account, you can go to my library, and then you will have under your library, the tool that you have bought, which is the Quest Games Optimizer. And then you will click download. Okay, I have already downloaded it on my headset. So you just click it, it will download and it will be on your headset. Now the next thing that you're going to do is you will go to your store and we will search for a tool called Mobile VR Station. So basically search it up, Mobile VR Station, there it is, download it. This is what we need in order to install the Quest Games Optimizer. Then we will open the Mobile VR Station. That will load up and then you will see a interface like this. We will go into the configuration wizard, go to show all options, configure scope storage, and then go to request access. And then you will see this. So you will go to Quest 3, just click it. And then you will just go to the download. And there you will see your download of Quest Games Optimizer. And then you'll click this icon right there. You click continue and install. And just wait for it to install. Do not click off, do not put your headset away. Just wait, be patient, my guy. Be patient, important in this life. For now, I click on done. What you do next in your menu of apps, you will go to installed right there or whatever it is on right now. And you go to unknown sources and under the unknown sources, you will see the Quest Games Optimizer. So you won't find it in the all tab, regular apps and games that you can download from the store directly. It will be third party unknown. So it will be under this tab. And then you can open it from here. You open it and then you will enter the email address which whom you have purchased the application. Now you will see this screen. First off, the auto detection. So it will say a lot of text. What I do is just open settings, search for the Quest Games Optimizer, toggle that on, allow. Go back two times and then it's on. The next thing you see is this red banner. So we click on the banner or on open settings, one of the two. And what you're going to do is this second solution right here. So I will exit the other app first. So what we do is we open the settings and then we go all the way down to the about section. And then we go all the way down to build number. Now we have to tick this build number five times because it will say five times and then it will count down the more you click until it's on zero and then you will become a developer. So click that until you see that counter drop to zero until you're a developer and that's that. So when you're a developer, we go 
into system and then all the way down you see developer options click that and when we are on the developer options menu we will scroll down until we see wireless debugging we have to enable the wireless debugging option so do that it might give you a menu where you have to tick allow or allow all the time so do that and then you tick on the option itself and then you see this pair device with parent code that's exactly the code that we need so click on that and then we have our code now let's open the quest games optimizer on a new window so we have it next to each other click on the banner again now we can enter the code that we see here so let's do that and then we validate go back and the banner is gone and that's it now we have the quest games optimizer installed and working properly and if you found this helpful do not hesitate to hit the like button below and consider subscribing now the way that we can use this application is by going into the apps menu basically and then you see all the installed apps on your headset now for certain apps you will see a green text with hd or hd plus that means that that app is optimized for the better graphical fidelity if you don't see that it means it isn't optimized yet so it doesn't have a profile on it so these already have a profile to go with it and are optimized now if you want to create your own profile you can do so you just go into the three dots menu go to edit and here you see everything that you can customize about this app so you can give it a higher resolution you can increase the refresh rate how much cpu power is used how much gpu power is used and this one is the fixed evovial rendering so it means the sides are a bit more blurry because it's your peripheral vision so you can turn it off or you can make it very high it's up to you so you can customize that for yourself so the banger thing about this app is that we have the free will to customize each app to our own liking and make it look better for ourselves so here you can see so Lara one was my previous video it's hd plus and right there you can also if you click on the three dots menu you can turn the optimization off you can put it on a reduced mode to save some battery for example even to improve the game smooth if it doesn't work smoothly you got superior visual quality and you got even superior visual quality so that's that here are some shortcuts it is a great tool worth every penny thank me later or just thank me by subscribing and liking this video and commenting i love you all let me know which game you're going to play with the newly upgraded graphics by using this tool and of course, all of this is great. But if you're more of a PC VR player, then check out this video where I show you tips and tricks in order to optimize the PC performance for an ultra smooth gaming experience. Check it out.